Hello everybody, my name is Dante, and welcome back to Lunacid. So, we left, we left, I mean we start when we left off last time, and you, and I want to confess that I messed up after last episode, when I say goodbye, I just left the game. I forgot to say, which I wanna do now. So I had to, you know, get up a little bit. But we are mostly where we left off. So now we have to go back to the. I forgot. Temple of Silence? Maybe? Something of silence. Why when why, why, one way or another? And we are much stronger now. But that's good. What's gonna be? Temple of silence, yeah. Or in my correctly. Correct correctly. Oof. It's a tough time now for my brain, because I sleep quite poorly for the last 10 years, but I'm gonna try my best to be just a little bit intelligent and sound like a human being. So yeah, time-lapse. And we're back. So, let's go deeper into the temple. Mac, Mac, good, hi, baby. Ding, bam, bam, boom, chasm, awa. Don't you hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Oh, next. Another crafting ingredient. And to be honest, I really don't remember. What I have to use to make anything. Now oh, some purchasable books or maybe knowledge can be found in the game world. And probably is. But I um, just missed it. So yeah. It appears the brain was removed, but the wounds were reflecting within the skull itself. It looks like the brain caved its own way out. That's an interesting way. And... Secret walls. Just like Dark Souls. And Kingsfield. Another one maybe? No. Oh, now I have to remember to hug every wall I can find. You're a knight. Ow. Please don't do that. Thank you. Another one, um... 
Please don't, don't, don't try to smack me. I'm the one doing the smacking. Crystal shard. I think crystal shards work like homeward bones from Dark Souls. Let me check it for a second. Crystal shard. Yep. Teleports you back to Nexus. Shield. And I'll... Nothing special. Long ago, our hate tells of Abdu and his temple. Now they managed to reach enlightenment and escape. But they're still here, or at least their bodies are. And the wooden shield, you don't equip it like normal. It's just a weapon. Well, I prefer to stick with the swords. Now, swords are easier to understand. The blade parts go inside the body, or the pokey bit goes inside the body and... You know... What? Rusted sword. I never... I never got it. Oh, it's gonna be fun to use. I don't know what. I never got any drop from them. I was playing by myself, so that's something. Blood strike. Blood strike. Our opponent's form of blood magic. Some warriors thought those forms of magic to rely on divertite rather than their magical power. Oh, what? Why not? Let's try it. Oh, yeah, I thought I could cancel it with the another spell, but nope. What can I do? That? Nope. Goodbye. How much? Oh, it's it's going on quite fast. So it will stay in a general direction. I thought it would be just at the same point of the my field of vision, but that's interesting. I learned something new today. Jesus, this sword is really dull. Mm, 
my PC control? Nope. So it's at least good. So that's something. So how much? Halfway. And BPP, BPT, BPT, boop, boop. The dead sun. Now I don't remember which way. Oh, six levels. That should my. Yeah, I think I should go there just to unlock the crystal. But then we're gonna come back and explore some more. What's here? Don't clap. Does it also have? Yep. I'm gonna upgrade it next after the rusted sword. And the doors to the next area. Now it wouldn't be a dungeon crawler without any sewers, so we can check it off the list. Also probably desert or volcano at least, you know, somewhere hot. And what else? It's like almost a staple in every game. Some forest area? Oh yeah, forest area. So, uh, somewhere hot and forest area. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yawning, but I'm just really, really tired. So yeah, I came here, but goodbye. When I'm gonna get back, I just wanted to have a warp point. Goodbye. And to wait, let's see how much. And to recover my health. I know I can use a potion, but. I'm a terrible hoarder in this type of game, you know, every RPG I end up with like 1000 of great amazing potions that heal me fully, but I'm still spamming the small ones because you know, there, there might be an emergency and I will need this one potion, who cares that I have like 1000 of them? Because, you know, just 
something might come in handy one day. They never did, but you know, one day. Break the other right. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't try to break them. So, if I remember correctly, there's there should be way to another place somewhere here. But I I don't remember where. I'm sure I'll find it. Don't look behind you. Harder than the walking wall. I mean, he's crawling. Oh my god. I just can't stop yawning. I don't know why. Can you give some advice? Don't listen to people that say, you know, you sleep a lot, so you shouldn't be tired. It's not a quantity of sleep, but it's also a quality of sleep. So remember that from, from, from me at least. If it's one thing you can remember for anything from everything I say, just to do. Quantity of sleep is always not enough. Is it full? Yeah, so it's next to the club. Some club. It still, still looks like wood to me. But whatever. Whatever works your boat. Nope. Oh. Let's see. You are in the no, right? You're in the no, right? No. Ah, VH VHS tapes. You know, they're quite a fun memory of mine. So many great cartoons. So many okay movies. Now, when I was younger, I was spending a lot of time at my aunt place. Especially when I was visiting my grandparents, they would take me to my aunt and I would just spend time at her place. And they had a lot of VHS step. I mean, a lot, but for kids, you know, not the movies or just cartoons. I had like three or four. And I watched them on repeat and again and again and again. But I remember like two or three days ago, a movie that I was watching at them quite often, their place quite often, and it 
turns out that the movie was the Captain America. You know, the 1990s one. And I totally just wiped out from my memory. But I saw the movie. And I not even saw the movie. I saw something about the movie a couple of days ago. And it just like unlocked that memory about this weird movie. And I'm really glad that we live in the timeline that Marvel made some really good decisions about the properties. So we now have at least good movies with decent actors. Oh no, I might be quite in a quite pickle. Because that old Captain America movie, it's just bad. You know, it's something that you have to watch to really understand how bad it was. I really, really just recommend it in a weird way. If you like bad movies, yeah, sure, go for it. It's just weird. Not like funny, weird like the Japanese Spider-Man, you know, the emissary of hell from or from hell. But it's just weird weird. Now you're looking at it and you just go like Who made it or why? It almost looked like a uh, oh, oh, it almost looks like some kind of Parody, you know? Like something that, you know, like the, the, the Pacific, Pacific Gym or something like that, like that, but, you know, it's just bizarre. Oh, like the, the, the Metal Man or some other bootleg video that was made to just ride on the hype of, of the of the Marvel property or more profitable property but I really really recommend that you watch the old Captain America because man oh man I'm not saying that it's a true, just 100% bad movie, but it's a weird one. And we have a shortcut. Oh, nice. But yeah, I really, really just had like that, uh, the, the weird flashback to my childhood when I was watching that movie like five but obviously I'm exaggerating but like 500 times I watched it and it was it, and the funniest thing was that I didn't understand anything because as I said in the Isaac series I didn't say, but I truly stander, started understand understand English, and I'm not saying that I'm not, I can speak it well, but I can understand it quite well. And I was like in 
eighth grade, I think. Because, like I said, I was watching YouTube videos, but I was playing video games fully in English. So, you know, I got a little bit of knowledge. But I was when I was a kid, I didn't understand anything. And I watched that movie, like, really... At least 20 times throughout my entire childhood. And I never understood a thing. And the weirdest thing is that I didn't even knew it was Captain America or anything like that. Because when I was a kid, the only superheroes that I knew about were like Batman because the, of the cartoons which were amazing, and still are, and Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. And that was like all I knew. And I didn't even know, like, you know, Marvel, DC, or anything like that. I was just, yeah, Spider-Man is the Spider-Man, and I like Spider-Man because he's so strong. And I like Batman because people are afraid of Batman. Don't clap. Oh. And, you know, I didn't even know that Captain America was like a, a, a real comic book hero. I thought that was that was just like some random hero movie, or even not not even a hero movie, because as a child, you know, just. A guy fighting with only his shield, no guns, no swords, no anything, it was somewhat just bizarre to me. I mean, now it still sounds bizarre, but not as much as it was as a kid. You know, you can have every single weapon. Now everyone can make you any kind of weapon, but you still have your shield. And I'm not saying it's weird or stupid or anything like that. But as a kid, I'm saying just as a kid, I really didn't understand why. No, why was he using just a shield? And also. What's the deal with his fake ears? Because you know, he has uh, holes in his... He should have holes in his costume with, to take out his ears. But I think they are just glued or just some kind of silicon or other material. Just stuck to his helmet. And I remember just... It so... All of, all of that movie was weird. You know? I can't really recall. I mean, I can't recall any details about the movie, but I just remember it was weird. I mean, I remember Red School. I remember Red School. Call? Call. Red School. And I think. Yeah, that movie didn't even took a place in America for most of the time. It was in Italy? I want to say, but I'm not sure. And yeah, I think it was in Italy. So that's even more bizarre for me. Yep. Ah, uh, and we have what now? Iron Club, yep. And Trusted Sword. We change into... Great Dark Sword. Interesting. So... Iron Club can even upgrade it further. Why not? I think it has the higher damage out of all my weapons. 
here we're gonna shift yep highest damage so let's go no 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 let's now save because i don't want to lose any more progress let's go with strength and death of 25 and two to speed and resistance. Yep. And now I think maybe forest. Goodbye. And look, there's a hole in the wall. <gasps> and I'm gonna fall and die. Or not. But I didn't want to fall, so just... Let me go back. This. I have to. No, I don't have to do anything. Just hope I can go back. I should destroy every kind of, every bit of flora that I can find. Oh, sorry. Almost broken died. But I'm okay now. <laughs> What's that? And I say I gave my blood to the forest, but it wasn't enough. What happened? Can I like just run around you? This don't help me. I just want to go back to the crystal. Don't. Please don't, don't shoot me anymore. Thank you. Because those bridges are highly unstable. Oof. That was close. Uh, just to make more or get more XP. My club. Let's just mark everything here. Destroy you? Nope. And I'm not gonna give up on that hole. I'm gonna go there again. And hopefully I won't die this time. What? Oh, that one didn't respawn. Ah, I thought that I will always, always respawn. Interesting. Please. Please don't make me fall again, can I? Yeah, thank you. Any secrets? Nope. Oh, 
drops the XP. Lowry. What we getting there? And that's us. Lovely. This and so I can get Holy Wolf. Killing. Killing star, probably. Where is it? Holy Wolf. Yeah, that revitalize the user simply at the cost of mana. So I'm gonna change that. Because I think that's more useful. They look so beautiful. It's a shame that I have to kill them. Or XP. How much? 132. Just 4%, but it's something. Every little bit counts. Don't run away. Let's accept your love. Thank you. I appreciate your sacrifice. Even though you're gonna respawn. Oh. The plant life here seems carnivorous. When exposed to fresh blood, the buds bloom. I found some human remains within them, as well as early here behind. behind. So like... Cut them a little bit, or right? Looks like never imagine cutting an enemy simply sprays them with blood. Wow, I shouldn't use that probably. Also, don't kill me. Killing magic is still. It's the only kind of ma kind of magic I use in many games. Nope. Oh, you need more, you greedy. More. And we get a shortcut. Let me smack some plants as I recover my blood. Nothing. Healing potion, nice. Come on, big money. But 
I don't want to die. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Nothing. I give you so much blood and nothing. How dare you? Bow. I mean, it's not gonna be useful. Because I'm gonna put everything into mana weapons. But this one. Nothing, really. A bunch of twats. Let's go happy. And Mac. 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 And... Let's be smart. And, I mean... I should be smart. And save my game. sofa and that's it for this episode so thank you very much for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and i see you in the next one i hope bye